as an alumni, people are going to talk to you about this team. I'm curious. Have you had, what have you been, are you getting intel from guys here, guys that played, guys around the team? Are you hearing things about what's maybe happening? I'm not looking to throw anybody under the bus or share anything that you're not, you don't want to share. But at, at this point, we're all hearing stuff. And I have people from other markets. You know what's bad? The last time I remember is when, and it was, it felt like it was literally dark at the dome down in the underneath. It just felt like the, the they hadn't re replaced fluorescent light bulbs. Like it was so dark and dingy. And it was when they traded Jokinen and Prust that night to the Rangers. It was like, oh man, what is going on? It was just such a miserable place. It's kind of that same thing. I have people, so hey, what's going on in Calgary? And I got the same stuff when they signed the offer sheet to Ryan O'Reilly and that whole mess with, again, like, what's, uh, what's going on in Calgary? I'm getting that same thing because the word is out that not just are they probably missing the playoffs, but there's something not, there, there's something up over at the Dome in that locker heard, room. Yeah, I heard that a lot earlier. The scary part for me now is that I don't hear from, I mean, it's two things. I heard there was may, more issues than maybe we were led to believe early in the year. And so that's, that was concerning and it's kind of played out and proven itself that these people were on to something. But now the concern not, is the silence that I hear from people that were fans of the team. They don't give a shit. They're not. They're not usually I'd get, Hey, have you watched? What, what do you think? It's, it's crickets. It's crickets. So clearly people are starting to go to get fed up with it because it does feel the same. And that's, that's not a good thing for, for anyone involved. We complain and take shots and this and that. Well, we have to, and we try to be really fair. And I think that we only talk poorly when we feel there's reasons to talk poorly. And I, I don't think that we do it just for whatever the. Yeah. It's not click. It's not, it's not, it's not, yeah, media. it's not shocks and it's not clickbait, but I think there, the, the, when the team is this, or when the fan base is this quiet about what's going on, that's, that's the scariest because it does no one any good for this team to be ignored. The city so, yeah. needs, the city needs and deserves more than what they're getting. Um, I've said it before and it's, you know, I've, you often hear that the opposite of, uh, of love is hate. And it's, it's a lot of times it's not the opposite is indifference. And that's when you, and I remember Ken King would say the same thing. So you can love us or hate us, but at least we're in your, we're in your consciousness and you're thinking about us and you care. It's when people are indifferent and it's meh. That's when there's cause for concern. And I wonder if we're starting to get into that a little bit, if we're not already, 